So we're not expecting paragraphs um, to be written. Um, instructors, if you could have a think about what you're going to be doing um, each week um, for each lesson. What skills are you teaching? Uh, what stage of the project will you be up to? Um, what will you discuss with the kids? It just needs to be a sentence or two. What is your goal? The educators, at the end of each lesson, it will be your job to write two or three sentences just in note form. What worked well? What didn't? Did you have behavior issues? Did you have routine problems? Were the kids, did the kids love doing something and you, and you know, the instructor thinks that it'd be really great to do it again next week. So while the instructor's doing the instructing, this is something that you'll be able to do um, to just help with the documentation of the kids learning. So this will be for the instructors and for the educators. I'm sorry, I know this is a massive amount of information. There are a lot of, it's, I think the hardest part is trying to get everyone um, onto the same page, particularly people who haven't actually um, been to the clubs uh, or the, been to the out of school hours care previously. If you have any questions, please ask me. Thank you all for listening so patiently, we're getting there. Uh, the risk assessments, this is for the instructors. I will hand this to you at the end. I have thought about all of the risks and potential risks that um, kids or staff might incur during the incursion. This is a legal requirement. When you're doing your planning, please just think, um, you know, am I using power tools? Am I using scissors? Am I using glue that might need a material safety data sheet? Am I running on pavement? Do the kids need hats? anything like that. There is a section for it at the top, just notes, um, need hats, using glue, anything like that, just goes at the top. I filled them out. If you could just have a look at them um, for me um, over the course of the week, same with the overview. Uh, for both the overview and the risk assessment, please have a look at it. Um, I'm happy for you to call me if you've got any questions. Um, and if you could try and get it back, well, if you could get it back to me um, before the first week, that would be fantastic. They really don't need to be detailed. It just needs to be a brief outline of what you're intending to do. This one, you just need to have a look at and tell me if there's any changes. Um, staff roles. I think I've generally covered um, the way that the each person's role will be operating. Our instructors are instructing, um, they're providing the lesson. Our educators are supporting them uh, with supervision, behavior management, uh, and they will be documenting the children's learning as well. The tuition girls, um, Diddy will be working with you on what you're doing. Uh, there shouldn't be too many changes, um, although we might need to document just write down, like the instructor's writing down briefly what they're doing. Um, if you could just write that down as well, what you did very briefly. Um, a few sentences on a template that I have. These staff roles go into a bit more detail depending on what your role is. Um, that's for the instructors, educators and kids learn educators. Uh, the tuition girls, um, Diddy will speak to you um, about that. Uh, now, our safeguarding children policy, if you could read through these pages, this is our safeguarding children policy. Um, everyone who is here will have done the modules that are online. If you have any questions, um, please let us know. At no time should anyone be in a room by themselves with a child. Um, if, for example, at 6.15, it's really important that um, someone is there with me because I can't be left alone with a child after hours. You should always have other kids, other staff um, around. We're lucky, everything's got walls, um, glass walls. So I, I, 
make sure you're out in the open that if you have any um, any questions, please ask. Um, it's important that the language we use, like I mentioned with the behaviour guidelines, everything's um, positive, um, that we're careful not to phrase um, anything in a way that might embarrass, upset, um, or hurt a child. Um, supervision, we've always got two people um, in a room. Uh, giving gifts, uh, no one here would be giving gifts. Um, Diddy has a rewards program, but that's, um, that's well documented and it's public. Uh, no one should be taking photos. Please don't take photos. Um, I will be coming around and taking photos of the kids. If there's anything that you need photos for, um, please see me. Um, if it's an ongoing thing, then you'll need to seek permission from um, the administration. Uh, with physical contact, um, in most of the clubs, um, it, you know, we, we don't really need to... Uh, no, no, no one should need to have any physical contact with the kids. Um, in games, in uh, sport and um, uh, any of the um, Krav Maga, the Karate, um, it's um, and so it's it, it can't be an if. Um, you know, it can't be in the, you know, anywhere that wouldn't be appropriate. Um, and again, there's, there's always um, an educator in the room as well. So if you have any questions about what would be appropriate um, or not, please um, see myself or um, Dina. Um, we don't have change rooms, but the toilets, um, that's part of the reason why we um, said that the staff toilets are at the top, just so we don't have um, an adult and a child in an unsupervised space. Um, if your parents have, if any of the parents have any questions, um, please direct them uh, to me, if you're not sure that you know the answer. Um, and the, report, the reporting of child abuse or allegations um, if you have something that you feel um, is not sitting right with you, um, or you have, or you feel might need to be um, reported, um, please see Moishi, Dina, um, and I can help you get in contact um, with them. Dina, do you have anything you'd like to add?